So now I'm going to have a look at task number four. Um, it calls for some external pictorials of your building and a solar study depicting critical times, e.g. sunrise and sunset. This is pretty simple stuff. You will have to wait until your model is uh, completely finished before you do them. However, um, once you've got it set up, it's always going to be there. So we might start off with just doing the sun and the sun path, and that will pretty much cover how to do rendered pictorials as well. So at the moment, I'm in a 3D view. So to get there, let's just say I was in my ground floor view, I've simply just come up to either this house here, a little picture of it, or under view you've got 3D view. They're the same thing. Okay, if you ever move your view around and you want it to go back to the home position, just click on the little house up here and it brings it back for you. There's a couple of ways to turn the sun path on. Down the bottom here there's a little shortcut for sun path and for shadows. Also, if you look through here, you'll see that we're in a 3D view and my sun path is currently turned off. So I'm going to turn it on. And here it is here. When you first do yours, it probably won't come up with a sun because you wouldn't have done the settings yet. So to do that, all you need to do is right click on the sun, sorry, left click on the sun, and then you're going to click on sun settings. Okay, for the example that I'm showing you guys, I've selected uh, a single day, and with the location, yours probably defaulted to Sydney. Okay, so it's pretty simple, guys. All you're going to do is click on this little loading icon here, and I'll have to turn the internet on my computer. Hopefully, it loads up pretty quick. Um, normally, there's a little Google map here and basically you just find Woodgate I might have to come back to this uh, once my internet loads up and you, you select Woodgate so for the date uh, it's defaulted to the 1st of 6th 2010 just leave it on that, that doesn't really, doesn't really matter sunrise to sunset click on that okay time intervals I've gone one hour bracket so you can see these little dots, they represent an hour in between each path of the sun. This one's pretty important. Ground plane at level. So at what level do we want that to cut through? So all your levels come up here. I don't want footings because that's underneath the ground. So I've gone for ground floor. That's the closest thing to the top of my topo surface. Okay, so I've got ground floor selected that. I'll go back into here and see if it's loaded up. Hopefully it has. Come on, be nice. Here we go. Yep. So, if I select on that, I zoom out. Basically, guys, if you just put it anywhere near Bundaberg, it's close enough. You've got Fraser Island there, and Woodgate's roughly around here somewhere. So, you just pick your house up and you can move it around and place him roughly about there. That's fine. Doesn't have to be spot on for this. Um, click OK. And then you should get apply because you've made changes and then OK. So this is what should come up. From here I'm going to turn my shadows on and basically for this task, the solar study, I want maybe three or four um, rendered pictorials of, of what's going on. OK. Um, so if you've designed, say, this front room for your morning area, you might do one with the sun at about 7.30, showing that it's heating up this room of a morning. Okay, so you're going to put that onto a sheet. I'll show you how to do that in a second. You might also want to say that you've designed your house so that in the afternoon at 3.30, you can sit on this deck and be in shade away from the heat. Okay, so uh, just need to really back up your design. If I want to put this onto a page now, probably the best way to do it 
is we've got a 3D view, that's what we're currently looking at now. If I put that, um, there might be a way to lock it off at a certain time. What's that? 2.30. Not sure why I can't get the round numbers. I might have a look into that and I'll, I'll let you know. But um, so if I went to right click on 3D view now and I'll go duplicate view with detailing I've got my copy of 3D I can rename that um, Sun and Shadows at I think I said 2.30 p.m. Okay, uh, it's not letting me do semicolons. Sweet. Okay, so I now have a view here, and so if I was to change, I'll go into back into my 3D view. I can then change that so the sun comes back into the morning, and it shouldn't have changed my copy. Yes, okay, so the sun's still back at 2.30 here, but my 3D one, I can keep moving that around and making copies and simply just giving them a file name that tells me what time it is with the sun, okay? So you might want to do one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Um, from that, I would create a sheet and call it Solar Study, okay? Now... I started off by going the name of the sheet, call it what it is, solar study, and the number, um, I've just put Z of Z because I'm not sure what number that is going to be on my sheets. My floor plan is definitely going to be my first sheet, so I've put one of uh, Z because I don't know what my total number of sheets is yet. Okay, so with this sheet, if I double click on that, just delete that, I should be able to bring in that drawing. I just dragged it across and I might make it a bit smaller. So on an A3 sheet you should be able to have possibly uh, this view here. So if I click on that view I should be able to turn off the titles, no title. And then you can put your own title in. You should be able to put say four of those on one A3 sheet okay depicting on what the sun's going to do in saying that I probably don't want all of them with this sun path it would be nice just to have a rendered pictorial without all this information but I definitely need one or two of these on there to show the orientation because if we zoom in I can see north east and west and get a pretty good idea so on that note if I go back into this drawing and I go to if this is the image that you're happy with, if you select render and then you select a region, so region automatically is off, select region and this will make your rendering speed higher as well I think. If you uh, have this region, that's the red area there, I'm left clicking on it and then I'm, I'm just cropping in my drawing. Okay. But the most important thing to get rid of that background is to go down here and it would have been set on sky, no clouds. Okay. But just go down to color and select your color as one of these white ones. That one there. That's what I've done. I've just gone white. And I'll click OK. I then went render. It takes about two or three minutes. And I had this result here. So there, no background. Okay, and that's what you get there. Now I've done my render quality of fairly low, so it's a little, little bit sketchy, but um, it looks a lot better with no background. From here I can go back and, and I'll bring in this fella here. Boom, done. Okay, so it's up to you because it's your assignment on how you lay it out but I would probably show something like this, that that's where the sun is going. That's what it's going to look like without all the detail. Okay. 
you might want to start off with the morning on the left and the afternoon on the right okay and yeah I'd probably keep it to about four pictures here you're you're allowed to have notes and justifications underneath um, even some arrows if you wish as well okay um, so that also covers how you're going to do your external pictorials just with your rendering um, and I would only have a page on that as well just a few maybe you might want to spin the house around a little bit and, and show different angles or, or different concepts that you've done uh, throughout your building so you're welcome to do that on the solar study as well rotate that around and then do a render there okay so now I'm going to quickly show you how to do a uh, internal perspective of your building for this example I've placed um, just a simple office chair and a person here um, in the drawing now I'm in my ground floor to get an internal perspective of this I'm in my 2D view and I simply go up to 3D view click on the downward arrow and click on camera I then place the camera where I want the photo taken from and then in the direction of which I want it taken okay automatically it switches over to my 3D view of it I can make it realistic with a fine detail now I know what you're probably saying that it doesn't really look that realistic at all uh, currently however if you were to render this image it should start looking something like that okay so with my rendering there's my model I've put a region around where I want to take the, the photo sorry where I want to render okay um, the lighting I've used interior sun and artificial um, if you just use this use the sun because you haven't put any lights in the building it's actually quite dark um, background I didn't worry about that I just left that and that was my result there okay so I would suggest for task number four you have one page with the solar study and then have another page for your internal perspectives and for your planimetric okay and then it's just a matter of getting these so this one's been called 3d view one that's where it comes up your camera shots come onto your 3d views and you would drag that into your page to do a planimetric is quite easy go into your 3d house view okay I hid my roof or I deleted it just for the for this purpose okay and planimetric is as simple as clicking on that house view there and all we're wanting is to look inside so you might do two shots of this one with the top level hidden and then the other one showing the top level so I've got nothing in my top level so it's pretty boring to look at uh, but yeah that's what a planimetric is so you guys should now after watching this be able to tick all the boxes for task number four